is in my deer stand. Hey, what do you think you're doing? What's up guys, my name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And today we're going to blast some bowling balls with a 338 Lapua and a 50 BMG. We have two bowling balls. They each weigh about 15 or 16 pounds. We're going to take a shot at one with a 338, take a shot at the other with a 50 BMG, see where the results are. Now it's enough talking, let's head outside and get started. So we're using a 50 caliber rifle on the channel now, and I truly believe that all these woods uh, would eventually stop the bullet. Uh, plus we're shooting at a slope, so we're shooting into the dirt. But even though I know that the bullet will stop out there somewhere, I still rather be safe than sorry. Uh, so I made us a backstop out of railroad ties, got it about three deep. So whatever we're shooting, if we pass through it, I highly doubt it's also going to make it through all three of those. Uh, and if it does, well then, it'll slow it down enough to where even a small tree would stop the bullet. So I just thought I'd show you that. So we have bowling balls. They're really heavy. I would say they're about 15 pounds each. We're gonna shoot one with the 338 Lapua and then shoot the other one with the 50 cal. Which one do we use first? 338 Lapua, 50 BMG. I can't decide. I can't decide, so we're gonna flip a coin. Heads is 50 BMG, tails is 338 Lapua. Tails. Okay, 338 Lapua is up first. This is our Savage 111 Long Range Hunter chambered in 338 Lapua. Here's the ammo we're using. This is Underwood 300 grain boat tail hollow points. Uh, I do not have any full metal jackets yet, guys, so this is what we're using today. And just to give you a comparison, this is the 338 Lapua, and we're going to be using this PMC 660 grain full metal jacket 50 BMG. Okay, well, we got her set up like this, and there's our entrance hole. Man, it didn't, it didn't blow it up. I can't believe that. Wow. Well, it is a hollow point, so I bet you that it uh, expanded in there and did not make it all the way through. Man, I figure it still would have busted that bowling ball up. I cannot believe that did not go through it. Wow. Well, let's blast it with a 50 BMG. I'm sure it's gonna blow it to smithereens. And this bowling ball over here was meant for the 50 BMG because I assume this bowling ball would have been messed up at least a little bit. So we'll shoot that one with a 338 Lapua first also and see if we get a different result. Okay. Time for the Serbu RN50. So here's where we hit on the yellow bowling ball. And I couldn't figure out where the bullet came out because I don't see a hole, but we have a hole here on a, a railroad tie and a piece of jacket. There's nothing, nothing come out on the other side. So I know that the bullet came out of this bowling ball, but I'm kind of confused on where. But now I figured it out. It came out through this finger hole. Let's see if I can get this piece of plastic out. Now that the plastic piece is out of the bowling ball, I can feel inside it and I can tell that the bullet came out through that finger hole, but this plastic coating held the bowling ball together. Now let's shoot the black bowling ball with a 338 Lapua and see if we get a different result. Oh. 
Okay, there's our entrance hole, and I am not seeing an exit hole anywhere. Not in the finger holes either. So, 338 Lapua did not make it through that bowling ball either. So now, before it gets too dark, I say we line up both of these bowling balls in a row and shoot them with the 50 BMG. I have managed my time poorly. <laughs> It's getting darker here a lot faster, and I had, uh, did not account for that today, so it is my fault that it's getting dark on us. I should have got out of here a little bit earlier. Okay, so we hit here and we came out right there and I'm not finding another hole on this bowling ball so when I take this bowling ball and I put it back up here now you can see the bullet hit here and then came out the back at an angle and it looks like we hit the wood right there all right guys that's it hey real quick I wanted to mention to you if you like the Serbu RN50 rifle that we use in today's video, and maybe that's something you're looking into purchasing, when you place your order and you call Serbu, don't forget to mention Kentucky Ballistics when you order your rifle, and they'll give you $50 off your rifle. I also want to give Underwood Ammo a special thanks, and there are links to Serbu and Underwood Ammo both in the description down below. So for today's question, I have an idea. I thought I'd throw it at you and get some feedback from you. Every once in a while, somebody will comment and they'll say they have this or that that they'd like to see me shoot. Well, it got me thinking, well, maybe you guys would like to see that. Maybe once a month, I could just shoot your stuff. Uh, that would be an extra video, by the way. I'd still give you a video a week, but we just have a bonus video of me blasting your things. Uh, I'd give you a shout out before I shot your stuff, and yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. And if you guys would like to see that, let me know. If you're willing to send stuff, let me know. If you don't want to see this, let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. If we get enough people, I'll set up an address and you guys can start sending me stuff. Other than that, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. And we upload new videos every week. If you're interested in Kentucky Ballistics clothing, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to our shop. Also links in the description down below that will take you to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to check us out over there too. Once again, my name is Scott. You've been watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.